Act, Alex Arians and Noah Friedel. Again, we'll go with an opening statement from Coach and then open it up to the students. Go ahead, Coach. Well, I'd like to congratulate Coach Kaufman and his team first and foremost, obviously disappointed in the results, but uh, really, really proud of our guys. Um, it's not easy to do times like this, but uh, what we've accomplished this year, I'm very, very proud of, and, and um, certainly these two guys beside me, but all of them. So um, with that, I'll open up to any questions. All right, questions for the student athletes? Alex, what, did, what, what kind of went wrong or what happened there in the final seconds? Um, <clears throat> obviously, he had four fouls. We subbed him out. Uh, Brandon came in um, and just couldn't get a foul off. Uh, I think there was like five or six seconds left and made a couple of passes. And then it was tough on offense. We were kind of scrambling. So just a tough finish for us. Noah, what can you say about how you guys rallied in the second half? I mean, you were playing from behind most of the way, gave yourselves a chance, obviously came up a little short. Uh, how would you sort of characterize it? Um, yeah, I'm proud of our guys. We came back, fought, we never gave up, and we gave ourselves a chance to win. So, Both of you guys. Um, I know it's hard to answer questions after a tough loss like that, but how did you guys feed off the crowd? Because I really felt like watching this, that they willed you back into the game. Would you agree, Alec? Yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of like Frost. You know, we're getting a uh, majority of the fans in there. Um, and it's big time for us. Um, obviously, this conference uh, home season in Frost, um, they're tremendous. You know, best fan base in the uh, conference. And um, they give us a lot of energy. I think the fans can tell that, too, you know, getting us uh, some energy. Um, you know, we're kind of filling our arms, trying to get them into it, too. So, yeah. I'd say uh, the crowd uh, played a big factor in us uh, coming back in the second half. Noah, you play with a lot of emotion. Obviously, that's a fun environment. I know you lost the game, but that had to be fun to be out there playing and, and hear the roars, because I know you're used to that from Frost, but it's twice as many people that are here, and they're all wearing blue. Yeah, um, our crowd is always great. Um, it's one of the many reasons I wanted to come here, uh, play in front of them. They definitely give us energy. and. We just want to get it done for them. So. How tough was it not having Doug playing? Because it clearly affected your depth. And you guys, I'm guessing you were pretty tired by the end of the game. Alex? Yeah, uh, obviously Doug's a tremendous player, um, offensively and defensively. Um, gives us advantages in many spots. So yeah, um, suck not playing without him, but that's certainly not an excuse to uh, not uh, finish this game the way we needed to. Yeah, um, I think just as the season went on, you know, you could see this group come together. Um, you know, obviously saw the growth of Noah. Um, you could see his confidence growing each and every day in practice. And as fans and spectators, I'm sure everyone saw that too. Um, but in, in terms of the season, you know, uh, obviously sucks losing this game. But uh, I think we made uh, tremendous strides from the summer. And uh, that's something that uh, I plan getting back to this summer is uh, just keep, it, keep taking strides and keep getting better each and every day. All right, thanks, guys. You guys can head back to the locker room. Open it up for questions for Coach. Hendel, what was your reaction to the final sequence? Uh, yeah, obviously, disapp disappointed in how um, we didn't finish it and, and uh, execute it and executed it. Execution at the end wasn't very good. And, and I'll take responsibility for that. I needed to be more clear in the huddle and making sure everybody was on the same page. And, and uh, obviously, they weren't because we didn't get it done. What did you think? Uh, first half, obviously, you guys kind of found yourselves playing from behind a little bit early. Seemed like had some struggles getting to their shooters in the early stages. Yeah, you, you know, I, I thought we, we were playing hard, but we were playing a, a little anxious, and, and we were getting spread out a little bit, and, and they weren't really hurting us with the ball screen necessarily. They were throwing the ball back to their shake guy and then getting downhill and, and then driving off of that and getting it into the paint. And, and one of our goals going into the game was keeping the ball out of the paint, and, and we didn't do a very good job of that. And they did a good job of getting downhill, and they did a good job of sharing the basketball. They have. 22 assists tonight, and, and um, 
usually that's kind of what we do is we share the basketball like that, but it was just a little bit of reversal tonight. And we didn't do a good job on their shooters uh, in the first half as far as taking away their shots. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they made, I think they made eight threes in the first half, you know, and that was certainly a big part of the outcome. Eric, you lost, you know, Dom and Skyler to graduation. David goes off to UNLV. It's like 90% of your points or yeah. some crazy stat like that. I don't think anybody expected you guys to do what you did this year. You have to be proud in your first year as head coach to have seen really a really good basketball team pull together and, and really have a nice season. Well, we, we got really good kids um, that really care about each other a lot. And, and when you have a group like that, um, good things can happen. And, and um, we, we really, uh, that, that's what I'm most proud about is that they celebrate each other's successes more than their own. And, um, and you could see that throughout the year, you know, and we're awfully young. You know, we started three freshmen and two sophomores um, with not a lot of experience, but we had that all year. And, and we played unselfishly. We competed like crazy. Um, we just got a little anxious tonight and got spread out. But uh, I am, I'm, I'm, I am super proud of those guys in the locker room. And that's why it stings so bad. It's because they're great kids. But you've got a great team coming back. And if anybody hadn't seen Noah before tonight, because a lot of people maybe that were here don't come to all your games. They wait for the Summit League tournament. If they hadn't seen him play before tonight, uh, he rose to the occasion tonight. He kept your team in the game. He has a knack for that moment. He really does, and he always has. You know, he's a super competitive kid, and I think you asked him the question, too. He's a very emotional kid as well. and and. Um, a lot of times that's, you know, you can use that to your advantage. Every once in a while, it can catch you. It can catch you. But uh, Noah has done such an incredible job of maturing throughout the year. Um, he, he's, a, he's a dynamic player, and I'm sure glad he's coming back, that's for sure, <laughs> for three more years. Last question for Coach? No? All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.